need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Will Spence. The first loss was a devastating one for Joe, but the second one tonight was even more devastating. Um, yeah, wow. Listen, mate, Jele Zhang. Mate, listen, we thought it was Joe Joyce that was going to come with a game plan. And after the first round, it looked like he had a game plan. He was moving away from the left cross. He was leaning over to his side. He was moving his head more. He was doing what he had to do. You, you think, well, he might make this interesting. It was a cagey start from both guys. Speaking to Sean George, who's the trainer of Zelly Zhang, he said, listen, we know what Joe's going to do before Joe's, uh, Joe knows what he's going to do. And I'm thinking, OK, so I spoke to him, got to know him a little bit. The guy knows what he's talking about. He was a good fighter, Sean George. And they come with the tactics. They come with a game plan. Actually, he was the one that came with a game plan and made the fight really easy. Cobra, do you want to come in? Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, he's ditched us for five yeah, live. Right up. Wait, Cole. 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 Don't worry then. It's all right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, he, come, he, he was the one that came with a game plan and he made that fight easy, man. From the first round, it was cagey. He could have gone either way. Second round, he adapted. Landed the left crosses through the middle, and this time set it up for that wicked right hook finish in the third round. I mean, that was a top class performance. Oscar, I've got to ask you this, right? Off that back of that performance, you'd say he's a danger for any of the heavyweights out there. You know, when you talk about the top four, where you've got like Tyson Fury, Alexander Rusik, Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, you go, you know, this guy has put his name right up there in the mix, which is, um, which is great, you know, great. But uh, I'm gutted for Joe Joyce. Because I love Joe as a person, he's a beautiful human being, but, you know, tonight, tonight he got found out a bit. Yeah, there was just so much hesitation, obviously, he knows the damage that Zhang's left hand can do. It felt like there was a lot of hesitation, um, but even just away from the fight, I know Joe will have decisions to make. If you were advising Joe, would you say to close the curtain on this now? No, I don't know about close the curtain. I think he needs to go go and look at what he wants to do, where he wants to be sat at, because like that world class level now is like a million miles away. You know, when you think like two fights ago, before the Zilli Zhang first fight, you know, Joe Joyce was the guy that everyone was talking about. This could be the geezer to beat Tyson Fury. He could have the strength, he could steamroll through him. This could be the guy, you know, because of that brilliant win against Joseph Parker. You look back to that, you go, you go, when was that? September 2022, when he beat Joseph Parker, and you just go, wow, what a performance. And, you know, it's all gone wrong since then, really. I feel, I'm gutted for him, because I really, you know, I really, really like the guy as a person, but where does he go now? What does he do? It's whether he's going to accept boxing at a lower level than world level, because he's got a, he's got a build, big rebuild, rebuilding process to go through if he wants to continue. So I'm sure he will. I'm sure he'll want to do it. Time's not really on his side, though. He's like 38 years of age. So let's see. In terms of the fighters that are out there for Zhang, um, I think any fight at the top is interested now, simply because of what we've seen him do tonight. Um, but the Fury one, I know he was keen on pursuing Tyson Fury after the first Joyce fight. He's going to be keen again. Mate, it's, that's just turned into a monster fight. That's a monster fight now. It's an absolute monster fight, yeah. And it's where Fury, you know, Fury takes the bait. He might want that, you know. Like Fury, stylistically, should beat um, Zhang because he's got quick feet. You know, Fury's got great boxing IQ, you know, so he would just dance around him. Anyone that goes at Zhang, like Joe Joyce, they're in trouble. They're going to have a hard fight. That's why the fight that I would like to see, a fight that would make sense, would be Deontay Wilder versus yeah. Zelay Zhang. What a fight that would be. You know, that is explosive. What a fight that would be. So that's the sort of fight. That's the fight where you go, Wilder, where are you going? What, do you, what are you doing? What's going on at the moment? That's a great fight. And that could happen. Do you imagine if that happened in like China? I know Zelay Zhang wants a, a oh, their national stadium or something. He, he wants a homecoming. He said 200 million people would watch that fight. That means huge money. So you never know, man. You never know what's happening. Anthony Joshua, Zele Zhang have been linked before. They boxed in 2012 in the Olympics. Joshua had that, won that one. Had him on the seat of his pants. That was a long time ago. Zele Zhang would want that revenge. That's a fight. Could they tempt Matchroom? Could they tempt uh, uh, Anthony Joshua over to the homecoming in China? It's, there's, there's big fights out there for him now, but every one of them I mentioned, listen, we'd pay money for that. I'd like to see that. You need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry.
Uh, must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 